Giving your design realistic motion can often be difficult, especially when mechanical components come into contact in ways that don't produce constant motion. Contact sets can be applied to components in a design so that they only move when they come into contact with one another. This gives the components realistic motion, allowing you to see exactly how the components will interface before they're manufactured. If I switch to the front view of this wine bottle opener, you can see that the vertical gear and the teeth on the arms have some spacing between them. If I move one of the arms in the model, both arms move simultaneously since there is a motion link applied to them both. A motion link is applied to two joints and tells them to move at a certain rate relative to one another. In this case, telling the two revolute mates to rotate in opposite directions at the same rate. I want to point out that the teeth overlap with the vertical gear and don't produce any motion. I could use another motion link between one of the arms and the vertical gear to produce the motion at a constant rate. However, this wouldn't account for the gaps between the teeth. Alternatively, if I add a contact set, the components will only move once they come into contact with each other, producing a more realistic model with motion that's not always constant. Before I add the contact set, I'll move the arms back into place by clicking the revert option in the position menu. First, contact sets must be enabled in the design. To do this, click on the Assemble drop-down menu and then select Enable Contact Sets. Notice that the Contact Sets item appears in the browser. This is a folder that contains all of the contacts applied to the model. To create a contact set, simply right-click on this folder in the browser and select New Contact Set. This tool is extremely simple to apply to the model, even though it performs a lot of complex calculations in order to work, as it only requires for bodies and components to be selected. In this case, I only need to select one of the arms and the vertical gear, since there is already an existing motion link. And when I click OK, the contact set is applied. Now, if I move the arm on the right, the vertical gear begins to move once it comes into surface contact with the teeth on the arm. Whenever the arm moves in the other direction, the vertical gear doesn't move until the gaps close and the teeth come back into contact. While this is an extremely powerful tool in Fusion 360, contact sets can require complex calculations to be performed in the background and should only be used when necessary. Oftentimes, motion links are sufficient enough to accomplish the same motion and don't require as much computing power. But if you do apply contact sets to your model, only include the components that need to be defined by contact in order to minimize calculations.